in practice and then practice meditation. Add a person, maintain down, <coughs> maintain down, maintaining down. That's the practice, the right practice. Because doubt is the cause effect that the awakening. The small down leads to the small awakening. The great down leads to the great awakening. No doubt, no awakening. So emphasize practicing, maintaining the Tao. That's we go to rise matrix of practice. The day and time we always ask question and maintain Tao, maintain maintaining the Tao until we don't really know we are maintaining. And Tao become the great Tao, the question disappear. Now we practice you the question to add the question. Add the question, raising the Tao. Add the question. We sweep out all of all cap the top. Automatically sweep out all cap the top. And continue to add the question, raising doubt, maintaining the doubt. Doubt sweep out the question. And at the end, the awakening sweep out the doubt. Or the sweep out attachment. That's like the very big, very clearly attachment. But this method will end all of attachment, like all of the norm. This explanation. Now we know, now we understand that all the attachment like subjective and objective, the theory <clears throat> and understand this theory. We still in the illusion, but the practice will end the illusion. Like in the Diamond Sutra, the Buddha said, the past, no gain, present, no gain. In the future, no gain. In some explanation of the sutra, the path we don't memorize, we don't looking for present, no raising discrimination, future, no arrangement, or thing in the future. That mean sweep out the subjective and objective, sweep out all ignorance of attachment because they have a subjective, objective, all the thing go to opposite attachment, like opposite the arrangement, opposite the looking, uh, opposite the uh, present discrimination. So we will get the upset, we will get the worry, fearing of because the illusion create, create the super, create the anxiety. That's because norm, sweep out is norm, to practice meditation, maintaining the down. Because we cannot raise in the down, add the question, 
at the question rising down. And with the practice, the explanation uh, from the Buddha, explanation from the Patriarch, experience one. With our experience in the supper, we will raising the painful obstacle for birth and death. The, the pain, the feeling of pain for circle birth and death, and we get strong belief in the zone mind. Go to practice. So, the practice, we have the practitioner awakening, have the practice to discover the origin of pain. Go back to the self nature, Buddha nature. Just had the question rising down. Past in no gain, present no gain, future no gain. Like no looking for that, no discrimination present, no arrangement in the future. Just get it from and let it go. And the question will you done that thing. If you use the attachment arrangement that we still in self attachment, still this norm. That also the explanation. Still part in the wisdom. When awakening will really know or really was the Buddha idea, the idea, just practice. In the way, we should go from there to the way bằng đồng tham thành trí thức. Nghĩa là tham thiền để rồi đầu khởi nghi tình. Good morning, uh, dear Monastic Sangha and uh, Zen practitioners. So in the Zen practicing, we have to uh, ask the question and raise it out. And uh, in this practice, uh, basically, we have nothing to hold on to. We uh, go beyond the duality. And uh, this is the uh, also called the prasna seat or the wisdom seat. And uh, when we ask the question in 10 doubts, it's going to help us uh, automatically sweep out all the dualities, uh, uh, cell attachment. Anything that we uh, remember in the past uh, attached to the present and something that we want to happen in the future. And uh, the future attachment is something that we want to uh, gain. Uh, it's based on our uh, discussive mind. And sometimes we are not able to gain something and something that uh, we uh, feel uh, disappointed. And this is uh, based on our mind. Well, in order for us to return to our rich, original mind, um, and this practice is going to help us do just that. So in the Diamond Sutra, there is a saying that the future is inconceivable, 
the present inconceivable and the, uh, and the past inconceivable. So because of our ignorant mind uh, and self-attachment, and we always have this uh, subject and object all the time, we possess the subject and we possess the uh, an object and winning losing is based on our discussed mind and then it's create all the suffering in the world from this life to uh, many other lives and it's create a cause and effect for each other and uh, that's why we in this samsara so this is uh, the uh, Chu Dharma, Chu Buddha Dharma, and the practice uh, is going to help us to return to our original mind. Uh, the past is already uh, gone, and the future, the present, the future is not here. But um, Although we already know that, but somehow um, the cell attachment and ignorance always um, create or, or manifest all different things in our life, mostly the suffering. So how can we release this? How can we let go of this uh, cell attachment? So it's based on our practice. The practice here is um, uh, avoiding or something that we have to fix. The future, the present and the past, uh, they all happening at the same time right now. And the cost and effect uh, they play out uh, at the same time and the cost and the effect always um, create all the uh, suffering for us we always get uh, attached to the uh, good effect and if there is no uh, good effect then it's go against our will and we feel disappointed so the uh, practice of uh, Pato is going to help us to go directly uh, beyond the uh, something to gain, something to seek. Um, and because we, we, we attach to the uh, something to gain, that's why we are suffering. And the original cause is a... Uh, Cause and effect, self attachment, and ignorance. And the practice is um, uh, self attachment, ignorance, prasna uh, are all these skillful ways to express, um, to distinguish. Um, so, because of our sick. Uh, mind and we uh, or fake sickening then we need to use a uh, fake uh, medicine to cure so the teaching is just like the finger point at the moon and all this uh, skillful means try to help us uh, to realize just that and the ignorance create all the experience uh, in life. And in this taha, ta, taba or worldly uh, life, uh, help us to uh, overcome all the obstacles. And we need to have the uh, seeds of uh, awakening. Um, and when we don't have uh, the strong determination to solve the birth and death, 
and and if we don't, uh, then we gonna have a lot of suffering in our life. And from this suffering, then we're able to aware of uh, why we need to uh, create the uh, the strong determination for. Uh, resolving birth and death. So based on the odd experience in our life, uh, we can also apply in our practice and create the uh, energy of uh, solving the birth and death. So this is also in the uh, practice of the Bodhisattva vows and the Bodhisattva vow is basically um, uh, is uh, no no self attachment and uh, and always forgiveness and let go and so our practice is um, it's about all that. Uh, we gonna go against uh, the mainstream of our discursive mind uh, with all the um, nothing to fear, and we we can uh, leave behind a distraction uh, with the huato and uh, all the ignorance um, can uh, be uh, weakened by our strong determination uh, for the birth and death. So uh, this is what um, we want to understand about the whole scenarios of practice. Uh, and if we keep um, distinguish between the past, the future, and the present all the time, then we get distracted by the, the three times. Uh, and we also uh we gonna collide with all the um afflictions in our life and, and that's what um what we uh want to share with you this morning so at this time if you have any questions or you want to share your experience and your practice you can do so Dạ, Nam Mô Vũng Sư Thích Ca Mô Ni Phật Con kính thưa quý thầy quý sư cô cùng thiền đường đại chúng à, Hôm nay con xin um, uh, chia sẻ cũng giống như là thỉnh thầy khai thị cho một cái thị trí thức um, Hiện tại thì vị này chưa lên dung Nhưng mà con sẽ um, xin phép uh, thỉnh pháp để con sẽ đưa Mô Sư Khi Mô Ni Phật Uh, the uh, monastic sangha and all Zen practitioners. I would like to ask you to uh, explain more about uh, this practitioner. You see, is actually not on the Zoom right now. Uh, I would like to ask uh, this question for her to listen to. Uh, this nun is actually has been practicing this hotel many years. And, and she uh, also practice in the uh, traditional temple. Uh, the traditional temple has uh, practiced many practices at the same time. And uh, she has a strong will uh, in the practice of the motto. And her question is, uh, before the parents were born, what was the original face look like? 
and and uh, during uh, during the her stay at the temple, she got a lot of uh, she experienced a lot of sickness. So, so she want to uh, uh, move to a hut so she can practice by herself and she was able to go to uh, uh, to the doctor and her wish is to uh, let me go this body um, uh, she asked uh, why I asked why you don't uh, stay with the, the Sangha the, the monastic Sangha and she said that she not uh, follow their schedule she cannot um, practice uh, the same uh, level so uh, can you uh, explain and say more about the practice so uh, and she can practice correctly thank you uh, we all have our own um, condition in our life of karma or self-attachment. We all have that. And it's a, they are the obstacle for the path. And if you're able to let go, uh, and uh, we can go over uh, the, uh, the any kind of uh, obstacle into our sickness. Uh, our illness, uh, our own uh, ignorance, or our PDRs, uh, and any kind of environment that we And when we, there's no environment that uh, our um, mind, you know, able to completely satisfy. So, and uh, all the patients, uh, because of their illness, they have to go immediately to the hospital. And and also we uh, uh, see that if we live in the time of the, the Buddha or the patriarch and if our minds you know gray all this obstacle uh, it can manifest in, in that time as well it's not just in this more uh, in this our time so uh, people they like to stay in the noisy world the market like uh, environment and all the uh, dualities, um, strong duality environment, and then uh, we like it. And, um, and we also uh, have this sick of uh, mind that we, we always carry this uh, wherever we go, we practice wherever. And this is our self attachment and ignorance. So, uh, so we need to uh, return to the practice. And this is also the patient of the Bodhisattva vows and letting go. And if we're not able to. We're not put down all the uh, burdens or something one someone is saying about us. And we carry that with us all the time. So if we have a diligent or sincerely about uh, the practice, so we all the uh, thousands of people who don't recognize we better than any. And we 
this is the, the, the quote that uh, Dan Nasser like Lee Kwa said. So we just say that you know, we are the most um, the most uh, idiot person in the group. And that's, that's fine too. Uh, we can carry on with that. And we create this uh, mice like a bit uh, giant mice like uh, uh, it's always uh, have this uh, straight mind. Uh, and that is uh, it's equivalent to the quarto practice. So when we're talking about the environment of practice, so uh, and also uh, people nowadays, they like to move out and live by themselves uh, because uh, the, con the world uh, condition right now is very uh, convenient for everyone to move. Uh, and, and we keep uh, create all this problem for ourselves if we uh, don't uh, uh, be aware of that. So we uh, have to uh, uh, acknowledge that, you know, we still owe to the, um, the community and otherwise it's going to help. <laughs> it's going to create all the, the mind that has the big ego uh, attached to the desire, the love, and it's great the, the mind has that quite high of qualities okay? uh, this, the illness in the body and we not able to follow the, the schedule and so on. And, and it doesn't matter how weak your body uh, you can able to uh, stay on the path and, and if, uh, we're not able to handle um, but am I able to do that? So then Master uh, uh, Xuân Yuan uh, experienced the, the most difficult time in his life and he almost dying because of his illness. But he has strong will to continue to go to the, the Zen uh, center to um, enter the retreat. And uh, eventually he awakened from, from all the conditions that arise. So let's go over the uh, cell attachment. So we always pray of uh, all the conditions and we're not able to let go of this uh, fear uh, uh, throughout our life because this is uh, come from our own uh, ignorance. So when you live with the, the community, uh, so when you live in a community, they, uh, uh, you don't ask them to serve you. Uh, depends on the condition. If you're not able to do certain things, they will help you. But if you create and and when you have this strong determination, uh, then when you practice with everyone, uh, and then you can, you can remember to practice. And when you practice, you're able to feel that everyone is practicing uh, to help you to practice 
so that is um, and also when you know that you know, they all practice you, you, not, you, you need to uh, continue with your practice even if you are in your bed and and uh, our practice is uh, different from the uh, traditional temples. And the tra traditional temple, they have only two sections, you know, one in the morning and one in the evening for chanting and uh, beside the Buddha text. Um, but our practice is we practice all day. So we, we need to remind ourselves to return to practice all time. And uh, when, if you have, uh, uh, sometimes people have this uh, uh, stress and depression to, to uh, have this strong differentiation between uh, this and that in the environment and all the uh, and one of the uh, student uh, disciple he was 80 years old and he had the vow to practice to fight in line within three years so within three years, he didn't even lay down. And he always uh, <coughs> sit up and practice. And that's three years. Uh, within three years, he was uh, able to find it in life. And he told uh, the young, uh, the young uh, monks that you are um, young and have uh, more energy than me. Uh, how come, you know? You're not able to do it. So uh, this is uh, the teaching. Uh, also teach us that, and remind us that we always, uh, and we also learn this from the Buddhas and the Patriots. How come we don't believe in ourselves? And if we're able to overcome anything, environment, the obstacles, uh, uh, the obstacle in the mind, the obstacle in the environment, uh, then we need to overcome. And, and we continue practice and uh, we have this uh, strong termination in the mind. Uh, when you have this strong termination in the mind, uh, you're able to uh, overcome. Otherwise, uh, you're not able to stay close with the novice. Uh, with the uh, monastic <coughs> sangha. And we, if we're not stay close to them, we're not able to uh, listen to the uh, reminders every day. Uh, and even, you know, when you're able to recognize uh, your own uh, problems, and you need to uh, practice and let go of everything else. Just like the Buddha, when he was a prince, he uh, was able to let go of all his uh, desires to become a, a king uh, with uh, all the good conditions, but he let go. And, and he didn't uh, attach to his throne, uh, his uh, palace, and whatnot. Um, and he didn't mind to have a, a difficult life ahead of him. So that's why in a Diamond Sutra, the, uh, the past is not inconceivable. The present is conceivable, the future is conceivable. So uh, that is the practice, come from our own practice, and just direct your mind to the path and practice. 
and in whatever condition uh, Jet Return to the practice, uh, the HR uh, wants to stay with the, uh, the monastic standard. So, uh, even, you know, you live with the, the typical people and they create all the problem for you, uh, but you still need to practice. Um, so, if you're not able to uh, handle that, then probably you, uh, you're going to leave. Um, and if you're not able to uh, continue to warm up your, uh, your, your determination, your bow to practice, and just use this body, healthy body, when you're able to still breathe in to practice. And, and when you, uh, when you successfully uh, accomplish the, the, the obstacle, then you're able to understand the, the true meaning of the Buddha and the patriarchs. And that's what I want to share this uh, with you today. And if you if you're not clear, you can ask more later. Uh, and now we are running out of time. Uh, thank you, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Good day. Namo Satya Namo Buddha.